quick two moves to get your cash flow higher when you're doing Airbnb. Currently, I'm here in my second Airbnb unit and I'm headed to the fourth unit. So this unit has a guest coming in tomorrow and I've only posted this live in an Airbnb in less than a week. Now I already have several bookings and the first one I do have a booking coming tomorrow and in several days as well. So here are the quick two moves to increase the cash flow when you have an Airbnb. Number one, you're limited by your number of bedrooms. So for this particular situation, this property that I'm in has three bedrooms. So what I did initially was bought, I bought um, queen size bed for each of the bedrooms. And now I'm gonna show you what I did to increase the number of occupancy, the number of beds in this particular unit, because that's one of the quick moves to increase the cash flow is increase the number of beds, the number of guests you can accommodate in your Airbnb. So currently I'm in the kitchen of my Airbnb and I love this, which was custom made by one of my 1099 contractors. And this is a folding, um, it's a folding bar, bar high table. And so I love this. So what I did was number one, the quick first move is to add a rolling bed. So this rolling bed, I stuck it, I stored it away or tuck it in the dining area. Because if you can see here, I do not have much space. Now this door leads to the bathroom. So let me show you. So it's a half bathroom on the first floor. So I could not stick it there. And this door leads to the basement and I could not stick it there too. Now I put a padlock in here so that my guests could not access the downstairs basement. Now this is one of the rolling beds and I have this sheet just in case if they would like to use it. I have my stack, brand new washer and dryer. And I'm gonna give you a tour because it's ready, luck, and loaded live for the first guest to come in here. So I have my stainless steel appliances, my refrigerator, a gas stove, which is a plus for those uh, lovers, who, uh, cooking lovers, or food lovers who likes to cook food, delicious meals for their family, a microwave, and your dishwasher. So I supply it with all amenities that you would typically have in a home, not for long-term rental, but for short-term. So you have your kitchen utensils. So I have a Caesars in here. I have my fork and spoons. I have my pots and pans. Let me try to see where I put my pots and pans um, because I have several units. So sometimes I don't know where I place them. So I stored those pots and pans in here so that they can use it. And then I have uh, my first property for Airbnb. I actually didn't have this. And my guest said, oh, it's very hard for me to warm my pizza or to make, bake my pizza because I didn't have this. I actually have this, but sh my guest could not find it. So now what I do is I put that inside the stove so that they could easily find it and tell me, hey, I could not bake it because why they could not find it. And then I also supply them with um, this to bake. So that bowl, an iron, a flat iron, and then your other, you know, plates, more plates, and then cups. My cups I stored in here cups and glasses, and then your kitchen, your cooking wares, right? Your spatula. And don't forget when you're in the kitchen, you also have this pot holder because my first guest in my first Air Airbnb, she said, oh, I could not touch it because you didn't have this. I actually have this, but she could not find it. So now I made sure that they could easily find it. And don't forget your knives and your chopping board. So that's the kitchen. Now the dining room, like I said, it is um, 
well, two, four, five chairs, but I have this um, long chair that they could easily bring in there and then they could sit. Now my dine, my living room is also very basic. Um, I have a futon which can be used as a bed and can accommodate one guest for sleeping. So I count that as a bed. Now, so just, you know, three seaters, three seaters here and one more chair over there, one couch and then chairs here. And this is where they actually put their, their, their bags. Now, what is this word? Believe. I always tell my kids about believing. What you see, uh, what you conceive and uh, what you believe and conceive, you will achieve. What you conceive and achieve, what you conceive and believe, you will achieve. So that's my favorite word: is believe that you can do it too. Because why? If I can do it, I know you can do it too. So let me show you the second floor. So this is the common hallway. That's the rack, and then that's the main door, and then I have this um, clock. So now we're headed to the second floor. I'm going to show you the three bedrooms and push more beds in this bedroom because why? These bedrooms are so big, and I know I can add some more. I'm just waiting for the other rolling beds to come. So now here is one of the rolling bed. I actually could fit two rolling beds in this bedroom. So that's a queen size bed. And as you can see, I provided a side table and a chair. When I checked in in one of the Airbnb, it didn't have a chair or a desk or a table, which is hard for me to put my bags away. So now I make sure that all the bedrooms have a table for the bags and a chair if they want to sit. So I can technically push this, this space for two more rolling beds. But for right now, I only have one rolling bed. And this is the light switch for it. And that's the bed. So two, two guests can um, sleep in here. Plus one, that's three. So in the bedroom, first bedroom, we have three guests. Now, don't forget in the dining room, we had one, so that's four, and then the futon, which is fifth. And then I'm gonna take you to the second bedroom, which can accommodate two guests as well. So three on the other bedroom, and then here I can accommodate two, five, and then I can accommodate another one if need be, a rolling bed on this side. And again, I can put the rolling bed in here to store away. So that's three plus two, five. And now I'm gonna show you the third bedroom, which is actually the master bedroom and it's so huge. So this is a queen size bed again, and it can accommodate two. Now, if you see in here, this is a his and hers closet. And let me see who's, with me today, um, I could not see who's the viewers, but hello, welcome. My topic today is quick to moves to increase the cash flow in your property. And currently I'm talking about Airbnb. Now this is another space, a uh, his and hers closet, that I can store this rolling bed. Now this currently can accommodate two, two people in here, plus this one rolling bed here, that's three. And I was thinking of putting one more rolling bed here, which can accommodate two plus two rolling beds, four. So that puts at, at four for this bedroom. So four plus three on the other, that's seven, plus two in here, nine, plus two in the living room is actually 11. So that's one quick move that we can increase the cash flow of our property when we're doing Airbnb. The second quick move to increase the cash flow in our Airbnb, I've seen others do it, but not me personally, who is where they renovate the space. Either they add swimming pool or jacuzzi or hot tub, or they add billiards. You have to add something, uh, a unique amenity, so you can command a higher price when you have this amenities in your Airbnb space. But for me, I'm not going that 
uh, much expense because to install a pool or hot tub, it will be thousands of dollars. And for now, I want it live and working, making cash flow for me in my Airbnb. So to recap, the quick two moves to increase the cash flow in your property with, when you're doing Airbnb is number one, what can you do with your guest capacity, your bedrooms? How many people can you sleep in your, in your property? So the more number of people, the more that you can raise your price. Second is the amenities. What amenities are you providing in your property? Do you have a billiard? Do you have games? Do you have a hot tub? Do you have jacuzzi? Do you have a swimming pool? Are you close bes beside the river or beside a creek? So these are fun things that people would like to have when they're on a vacation or when they're uh, on a trip going to a destination and you're a midpoint between their destination. So those are the quick two moves. Now, if you want to know more about what I do, I will be hosting a live webinar October 7, October 7 at 11 a.m. That's a Friday, October 7, 11 a.m. U.S. Eastern Time. Well, I will be doing a live webinar of what I do. Currently, my husband and I have over 75 apartment units. In fact, I wrote the book, Apartment Prescription. It's how I found, bought, and paid for my apartment units. So if you want to model, mimic, and master what I do, I shared it in my book, Apartment Prescription. Now, if you want one-hour coaching with me and I speed your success to investing, you can join me in my VIP experience. So let's go, physicians. Well, I cannot wait. Now, let me see if I could invite the viewer if you have any questions. Let me see if I can invite you and, and answer your question. Now, how do I do this thing? I'm new to this and I have a viewer and I would like to answer your question because you're tuned in with me. So... It's just, I do not know who you are right now. Um, is there a way? Well, anyway, you can ask your questions in the comment section below and I'll try to get you your question answered. If I know how, it's just, I cannot, I do not know. So, Hopefully, you learned something and thank you for tuning in with me today. So those are the quick two moves. And oh, I forgot to share with you the bathroom. I didn't, I didn't show you the bathroom. So this is actually a very simple bathroom. It's one full bath. Well, there's a tub and there's a stand-up shower. So just typical bathroom, nothing fancy. It has a clawfoot tub. And I put this rack for the towels, and that's the stand-up shower. So now you get a tour of my Airbnb, my second Airbnb. And guess what? I'm headed to the fourth, and then we're headed to the fifth and to the sixth. So let's go. Well, cannot wait. Let us go.